We're here today on Real, RealAgriculture.com with Trish Jordan from Monsanto, Canada. Trish is Monsanto spokesperson. Welcome today, Trish. And thanks, Sean. <laughs> Trish, uh, we've obviously had a lot of wet weather uh, in Western Canada. One of the implications, or I guess one of the results or effects of that wet weather is we've, we've got some farmers that are uh, attempting or requesting to uh, harvest their volunteer canola crop. So in, in this case, I guess it would be Roundup Ready technology. Are, are farmers able, uh, by I guess their TUA agreement, are they are they allowed to do this? Well, under a normal year, no, they they would not be allowed to uh, harvest a volunteer canola crop. Um, but we are making an exception for growers this year. We recognize that this has been a very very difficult year. And so for 2010, we do have a program in place um, where we will um, grant the grower uh, what we're calling a volunteer technology use agreement for the number of acres that they intend to harvest. Now, that said, you know, we, uh, um, from a Monsanto perspective, we really don't think that this is a good agronomic decision. And obviously, it should only be considered by the by the farmer as a last resort if there are absolutely no other options left for the producer. But generally speaking, the monetary investment to take a volunteer stand to harvest, including everything you're going to have to apply, the technology use fees, the harvesting, it's probably not going to be recovered due to what historically has been very poor yields and quality in trying to harvest a volunteer crop. But that said, if a grower just doesn't really feel like they have any other option and this is something they want to do, we've outlined a process whereby they can do that with our technology, but they need to phone and register. There is a cost associated with it, and um, we will bill them directly for that voluntary technology use agreement based on the number of acres that they intend to harvest. So I've heard a few people, uh, I guess, the the challenge or the argument uh, in this whole uh, situation is that why should a farmer have to pay uh, a TUA if he hasn't bought seed. Do you want to quickly explain why that is the case? Well, basically, because the TSA that we provide, the tech, according to the terms and conditions of the technology stewardship agreement that they have signed uh, with Monsanto, um, it stipulates that they cannot um, cannot grow a second year crop and cannot save and reuse seed. So it's a combination of that. Um, and if they were to harvest a volunteer crop without this special exemption and having this volunteer technology use agreement in place, they would be in direct uh, violation of the terms and conditions outlined in their technology stewardship agreement. So without a TSA, um, you know, a farmer uh, puts in jeopardy their future access to purchasing Roundup Ready canola from Monsanto in the future. Okay, Th- that makes sense. So, I, but on t- I guess you, you sort of already mentioned at the beginning, um, mm-hmm. but uh, Monsanto is definitely not recommending uh, agronomically the, the that farmers, if they can avoid mm-hmm. harvesting their volunteer right. crop, they should do so. Yes, definitely. I mean, I would encourage them to uh, work with their local rep and and some of our technical development people. But there's a number of reasons, as I as I pointed out earlier, that this just doesn't make sense. There's um, you know all kinds of challenges where you could have high plant populations, and which will result in a yield loss. You're going to have uneven plant distribution. You're going to have variable plant maturity. Um, not to mention that this is uh, uh, you know hybrid hybrid crop and so the volunteers from a first generation crop um, obviously don't display uh, the same vigor and that sort of thing so it's just a really risky proposition again we don't recommend it but for those growers who absolutely feel that look I'm going to try this I really can't get onto my field I can't spray it I can't reseed um, I just don't think I really have any other choice. We'll work with them to do that, but yes, there will be a cost associated with that. And um, we've worked it out to the cost is fifteen sixty-five per acre, which is based on the normal 2010 technology fee of $6.90 per kg. Okay. Um, 
uh, for for the seed. So if a, a farmer is going to do this, they call their local rep. The a local rep will come out and will look at the field and and make some uh, decisions on if they would qualify or not. Um, yeah. Well, basically, as uh, as long as as long as the grower uh, calls us um, and indicates the number of acres that they they think they're gonna they're gonna get. Yep. Um, there's not really a qualifying procedure again. Again, this year, it's uh, there's so many farmers in this situation that I think would be not normal. But um, it, you know, the administration is going to be a bit of a challenge for us. But they could either contact their local rep, or they can phone the Monsanto Custom Care Line at 1-800-667-4944, and uh, they would be calling to request a volunteer technology use agreement for, for those acres in 2010. Perfect, Trish. Well, I really appreciate you joining us today, and we'll uh, definitely talk to you again in the future. Okay, thanks very much.